Yo guys, welcome back to Cryptoria. Today I'm going to be covering Storm X, but before I do, I'd appreciate if you like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you know when I upload. And with that being said, let's get into this video. So before I go over the website, I just want to go over the price analysis. So you can see here, Storm X, ticking in being STMX, Current ranking is in that top 300, currently 297, so it is doing really well at the moment. Current price is doing really well as well, over 7.43% over the last 24 hours, currently circling over that 0.01 FI level, so it is doing really well at the moment. Current market is pretty low as well, over that 157 million, so you can really see the growth it has potential in order to grow the price as well. So just be aware of that as well, guys. If it does 10x, so does the price as well in terms of the circulating volume it is over that 9.2 million as well going over the chart very briefly you can see it was circling around that two penny mark before jumping all the way up to around that 20 cent level before unfortunately dumping back down to these lows around that 0.001 level before circling back up to around that 0.08 level before going down to where it is at the moment in terms of where you guys want to buy it the best place definitely will be on binance but you could trade against these other exchanges as well so guys i will be jumping over onto the website now so jumping over onto the website, you can see what Storm X is all about. Essentially what it is, is a cashback reward system, but in terms of cryptocurrency. So think of it as Honey or any other extension tools you use on your browser where you're able to get cashback on the shops and places you shop at and places where you buy stuff, where you actually get cash back on what you spend. Here you get crypto cash back. So it is really unique and it's a really good way in terms of getting into crypto as well. So you can see here, the easiest way to earn crypto, just sign up, shop and earn crypto cash back. Who said crypto had to be hard? Literally so easy. You're getting crypto sent to you whilst you're buying the daily stuff that you normally do anyway. You can see here the examples. For example, Dr. Jart, you spent $48. You get $4 crypto back. Again, here at Nike Store, you spend $89. You get around $14 back. So who says crypto is hard exactly? So this is a good way of getting you involved in crypto as well. Again, you can see here they're featuring this huge magazines such as Yahoo Finance, Nasdaq, MBN, Forbes. Go ahead and check out this video as well. It does give you more of an insight what it is. But over here, it tells you how. So it says here, but how? Simply put, we've combined the powers of the blockchain with traditional cashback to create something magical. Better yet, it's so easy, anyone can use it. Don't believe us, just try it. So you download it. You shop, you earn, go crypto. So you can see here, guys, as well, the, the store max extension. Just clicking in here, it literally tells you every single store is available. You can see here, such as eBay, AliExpress, Domino's, and so on. You go ahead and check this out. You click on the shop icon or click on any one of these when you do want to shop and what that does is triggers the api in order to actually get that claim on top and it obviously reads on the actual website you're on so it's pretty much like that you spend a hundred dollars you get around two percent back or so on it's really really good and you know if the crypto goes up or the storm x value goes up so does your investment as well so just think about that as well guys so that's just a bit about about how everything works so that is just a bit about that going down again you can see over here shops brand you love ebay new bag Balance, Groupon, Nike and so on. So literally every single store you probably shop at such as eBay, Nike and so on you'll be able to get cashback rewards. So just think about this guys, if you bought something from Nike and you get around $2 worth of StormX tokens back and that StormX token 10X is, you're pretty much getting the item for free in the long term. So just think about that in terms of possibilities and why not, you're getting cashback on crypto. So think about that as well. You can see here the amount of rewarded today as well, over $5 million. Look, it's just increasing as well, so it's pretty good. So literally you, you can download it pretty much everything, App Store, Google Play and your Chrome extension and your edge extension as well so that's just a bit about the storm x platform also they do have a staking platform as well just to give you more of an insight on how you could actually benefit from these stmx tokens so for example if you have around a thousand dollars 
worth of STMX token and you were to stake it, after one year, you'd be able to get around $80 USD. So just think about it, if you spent that much money, why not get free STMX token on top and why not stake it on top as well? So just think about the benefits as well. Just here, I'll put down here, if you have around 65,000 STMX tokens, is equivalent to around 1,000 USD at the price it is at the moment, you'd be able to get around $80 USD. So that is a win-win situation in my understanding so just make sure you know where you're going as well guys so guys i will be jumping on some recent news now so in terms of recent news i have jumped over onto the twitter page where you can see here coinbase is now available on storm x ready to earn a little crypto for trading your assets so you go ahead and earn here so you essentially you can see here earn up to 30 dollars crypto cashback with your first trade at Coinbase. So go ahead and check this out as well, guys. It is a huge way of getting involved. And, you know, free money. Who doesn't like free money? Jumping over onto CoinMarket as well, guys. You can see here, StormX Poker Tournament. Jumping over here, StormX to hold its first Invitational Poker Tournament. If you do want to get involved, you can see here, the tournament will be taking place on March the 3rd. So if you do want to get involved, go ahead and get involved. But there is a huge amount of money to be won here as well. You can see here, the tournament will see players compete for a chance to win their share of expected $500,000 prize pool. The event has a $5,000 buy-in with one optional $5,000 rebuy allowed. StormX will be offering sponsorship opportunities for the event and will be donating a portion of its proceeds to various charities in Miami with the mission to increase financial and crypto literacy in the region. So, Guys, get involved if you could. It is a good way to get a bit more money and a bit more understanding of what StormX is all about. So guys, I will be jumping over onto price prediction now. So guys, yes, whatever's been waiting for the price analysis. So before I do jump over onto the actual prediction side, I just want to point out this, the all-time low and the all-time high roughly. So you can see here around that all-time high back around last year, you can see it did go up to that 0.009 level. So if you were able to go up to this, from the all-time low around that 0.001 level, it was roughly around a 55x. So just to put that into perspective, if you had a thousand dollars around here and you kept it until that high around that 0.09 level, it would have been around a $55,000 return. So think about it guys, a thousand dollar investment and you get back around $55,000. So it's a huge amount of money, especially if you picked up here, even if you sold off here roughly around that 20x, 30x, you still make a substantial amount of gains. So that's just a quick point of uh, I just wanted to mention. So again, that's just something to look out for as well. So guys, jumping onto the monthly time frame, have marked out these key levels over here. You can see that key level of resistance, again, key level of resistance, key level of supports over here as well. So I have marked down these circles over here where you can see the amount of rejections around that 0.034 level. So the amount of months, one, two, three, four, five months, it's been rejecting this level. And ever since then, you can see that just been going back down to around that 0.01 level at the moment last month in fact you can see it did actually break this level of support around that 0.017 level so what i see happening is either a further drop down to these level of supports here or what it might do it just might be considered a fake out so it might actually come back into this range and just add a range here for a bit or it might break this level of resistance around that 0.034 level before creating level of support and going up back up to these highs initially and then obviously going towards that 10 cent 15 cent and 20 cent level that we've seen before so that is what i'm thinking in terms of the monthly of course the worst case i did mention here will be going back down here touching these level of supports around that 0.0001 level before going back up to these highs jumping over onto the weekly time frame you can see here again that key level zone over here bunch of resistance and supports touching into these supports level here you can see the amount of rejections around this support here as well i have marked out this major trend line here once twice three times it tried to reject it and go break above over here there's a bit of a fake out over here again fake out here at the moment you can see it has broken that trend line completely so if this week completes above this trend line what i see is a further potential going up towards that high over here initially so this is what i'm thinking at the moment again guys so hopefully this is what it plays out but you can see that forming wedge formation and it does seem to be breaking above so hopefully it does break above and stays above as well again jumping onto the daily time frame 
you can see here, I have marked out that key level of zone again. It touched here again back in July last year, and it tapped in recently this year as well. So what I'm thinking, guys, you can see here in daily is not right is not that good just because it's very choppy you can see ranges here you can see ranges here you can see ranges here and so on. you can see a lot of minor ranges here as well so ideally what you want to happen is i had to break these level of zones here before actually going up to these levels here so ideally you want to have an opportunity to buy in around these ranges here hoping for the best to go up to these levels here cleaning these level of candles here before going up to these levels of high initially around that 0.05 level and obviously buying on top of that as well. So at the moment, I would suggest you guys, if you do like this project, just a dollar cost average, it is a perfect time to pick up at the moment, even just for that initial 10x or 2x that you guys want to do. If you were to able to, if you were able to pick up here, it would be a nice opportunity just to pull out here as well for an initial for a 2x opportunity as well. But as I just said, just might wait, just be aware of all these ranges that's happening at the moment it is a bit of a potential just so it is a bit of a range that you need to be aware of just because when there is ranges, it tends to range again or it might reject and just go completely back down. So just be aware of these ranges that I see over here. So guys, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Make sure you smash the like button subscribe and turn on bell notification for all future videos and with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one